Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Jarvis taking a video from my kitchen. This is my kitchen window, looking out the window at the little tiny pond across the street that was made by the owners of the house. It's called a man-made pond. Well, it was never there. They created it and the frogs came, and the dragonflies came. All the pond life has been coming here. We've changed the ecosystem of our little neighborhood here on our dead end street in Peekskill. That's their house. It's, it's really neat at night now. We hear all these frogs. We have a fox, a red fox that runs through the yard. Uh, lots of garter snakes live over there now. Oh, beautiful butterflies. This is the pond life. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of pond life today. Let's see if that works out. I'm practicing my holding my camera in my phone, uh, my phone in my hand, pond life. So last night I quickly showed you the first page of the boy and the girl at the pond. I'll just take a little picture walk here. You can see the mud at the bottom of the pond and here's a little bit of the water. So a pond is a small body of water, right? It's not a big lake. It's not a long river or a huge ocean. It's just a little bit of water here. How do pond plants grow? Plants that grow near ponds need a lot of water. Some plants only have their roots in the water. Let's see, I like which one. Can you find it? Just the roots in the water, right there. Other plants have roots that float. Still other plants grow completely underwater. Neat. What do you see in the picture? You see the mallard duck? Where do pond birds build their nests? Question mark. Some of the birds build their nests on the shore. Others build nests in the middle of the pond. Like that one, looks like a little island. They just built their nest there. And over here you see two fish. And those are the little labels for the fish, the words here. What are pond fish like? Question mark. Many different kinds of fish live in ponds. Fish eat plants and insects from the water. That's right, it's what they eat. So we'll take a look at this picture first over here. Let's see if I can flip the book and make it easier. What are some other pond animals? Frogs, toads, and newts live in the water. Do you see them? Frog, toad, newt. They live in the water and on land. Frogs and toads lay eggs in water, and newts lay eggs in grass. The young frogs, toads, and newts live in the water after they hatch. So here's toad spawn. Remember Mr. Carl showed us that? Toad spawn. And there's the newt's egg on the grass, the tiny little thing. And that's the frog spawn, which I might be able to show you today across the street. And here's a girl. What hatches from frog's eggs? Oh, look, she's growing tadpoles. See in there? And that's pondweed. Tadpoles hatch from frog eggs. Tadpoles have tails. They do not have legs. They eat water plants. So now we know what the tadpoles eat. Let's see what's over here. Oh, raw meat inside that little jar. Do not leave the meat in the water too long. So I guess the tadpoles eat raw meat too. That's what the words will probably tell us. How do tadpoles grow into frogs? Tadpoles grow legs as they get older. They need to eat meat. I didn't know that. In the ponds, they eat insects, so the insects must be their meat when they're in the pond. But if you were doing it from home, you could probably get a little bit of raw meat from your supper. Over here, what are surface insects like? Some pond insects never go under the water. They stay on the surface. The pond skater. That was that insect from the cover. I couldn't remember the name of it. Pond skater. Let's see what else do we have here. Fish, frogs, and birds eat insects as food. 
the pond skater real size. That's the real size oops, of the pond skater. And the whirly, whirly, whirly gig beetle, that's the real size. Okay, sorry. I like this page. Well, it's actually two pages. It's not a full spread. So this one, let me try to focus. That's a real size of a gnat. Okay, the gnat that flies around. How a gnat grows. So it gives you step one, the eggs, two, larva, three, pupa, four, the adult hatching from the pupa, and five, the adult gnat flying out of the water. Cool. So how do gnats grow in the pond? Gnats spend most of their lives in the water. Fish eat the eggs, larva, and the pupa of the gnats. And frogs eat the adult gnats. So that's, I guess, the purpose of gnats' life. To be part of the life cycle. Get eaten up by the fish and the frogs. What's over here? Mayflies! This is an adult, adult mayfly, the real size. Let's see, he's flying around. There's the larva. That's before he was hatched out of the water. How do mayflies grow in the pond? The larva of the mayfly lives in the water for one or two years. The adult has no mouth, so it cannot eat. Adult mayflies live for only a few hours. Wow, I didn't know that. So once they come out, they fly around for a few hours, and then they die. That's the end of their life. That's the life cycle of a mayfly. They don't even have a mouth. Let's zoom in here. No mouth. Let's see, what do we have? We have the real size of a, what? Water boatman. What other insects live in the pond? Water boatmen swim underwater. They come to the surface for air. One set of legs acts like oars. Hairs on the legs push up against the water and help the boatmen swim. That's an interesting fact. This is about diving beetles. Because of time, I'm going to skip some pages. I'll just show you the pictures, okay? So we don't have a lot of time today. Let's see, what's this? Wow, the larva. The larva, real size of a diving beetle. And over here, this girl is observing. That's a good science word. She's observing plant life. In a little dish. Let's see what, let's see what she sees here. Let's zoom in. And then over here, focus, focus. A water louse. Wow. Flatworms. Shrimp. Freshwater shrimp. Not saltwater shrimp, but freshwater shrimp. Because ponds are freshwater. Not salty. Fresh. So over here we have wow, all sorts of pond life. Leeches. A snail. And this is a science experiment watching snails from home. Keep water plants in the jar. What's this one? You can use a magnifying glass to see some other small plant life. I mean, pond life. And here is an aquarium. In that rectangular box made of glass or plastic, you can put some plant life inside, pond life. Yeah, that's what they're doing in these pictures. These children are becoming scientists. That's so neat. So thanks for listening to this book today. I hope that you enjoyed looking at some different pond life species plants and animals that live in the pond that make up the community. And I hope that you are able to get outside this weekend and go explore some pond life. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.